many years ago, in the time of swashbuckling pirates, talking parrots, and buried treasure, there lived a young boy named Jim Hawkins. Jim worked with his mother at their inn on the harbor, serving fish and chips and warm drinks to all the sailors who passed through. Sailors often rested overnight at the inn. One day, a grumpy old seaman by the name of Black Dog came to stay with Jim and his mother. He slept at the inn for around a week. Jim thought him to be quite unfriendly, so he never learned much about him. One morning, Jim went to clean Black Dog's room and was astonished to find he had disappeared. He was nowhere to be found. So Jim checked through his possessions to see if they might hold any clues to the mysterious guest. Inside Black Dog's trunk, he had a crumbled yellow map. It showed a web of little islands, one with a big red X. Jim was very excited. He took the map to show his good friend Squire and the town doctor, Dr. Livesey. He was a wise and well-respected man, so Jim was sure he'd know what to do. This looks like a map of hidden treasure, said Dr. Livesey, inspecting the map. Looks like an adventure to me, said Squire. Jim and the two men agreed to set sail as soon as possible along the passage marked on the mysterious map. They recruited a small crew and set sail by the weekend. The ship's cook was an especially interesting character. John Silver had only one leg, so used a wooden stick in place of another. He had a large parrot named Flint, who always sat on his shoulder, and he and the bird would tell amazing tall tales that had Jim rolling on the floor laughing. He seemed like a pleasant fellow, and all of the crew loved to hear him tell stories of his adventures at sea. They grew nearer and nearer to the island marked on the map with a big red X. One night, Jim couldn't sleep through the rolling of the waves, so he went up from his bunk towards the kitchen for a midnight snack. He heard low, cackling voices inside the kitchen and stopped to listen. As soon as we reach the island, we will take the rest of the crew as prisoners. Then we can use the map to find the treasure for ourselves. It was John Silver! Jim gasped and ran down to wake Dr. Livesey and Squire. Livesey shook his head. John Silver is no ordinary cook. He must be the dreadful pirate, Long John Silver. He is well known across the waters as a dangerous and nasty man. He and his friends are pretending to be our crew so they can tie us up and steal our treasure. Together, the three men hatched a plan to thwart Long John Silver. As soon as dawn was breaking and they were near enough to the island, Jim jumped from the ship and swam to shore. He began to search for the treasure before the pirates could get to it. Along the way, he met an old man with a big, long beard, wearing ragged clothes. He introduced himself as Ben Gunn and told Jim he had been trapped on the island for many years. Jim told him the story about Long John Silver and the treasure, and Ben agreed to help at once, for it was Long John Silver who had abandoned him on the island so long ago. Ben Gunn knew the island better than any man, so he laid out several snares for the unsuspecting pirates. Together, Jim and Ben quickly dug holes and covered them over with big palm leaves. They made catapults out of thick tree branches and loaded them with heavy coconuts. Then they laid flat on the ground and waited for Long John Silver and his pirate crew to stumble into their traps. Just after midday, the pirates appeared on the island, waving their pistols. Using the map as a guide, they traveled towards the Red X, hoping to uncover the treasure. Bunk, bunk, bunk! Ben and Jim fired their catapults, and heavy brown coconuts rained down on the pirates' heads. Whoosh! 
The palm leaf floor fell out from under them, and they fell down into the sandy holes. The pirates were trapped. Jim and Ben cheered. They ran all over the island looking for the treasure. When they finally uncovered the right spot, they found chests filled to the brim with glittering gold coins and jewelry. They packed their loot and swam back to the boat, where they freed Dr. Livesey and Squire and started the long journey home. The pirates were left trapped on the island and learned an important lesson. Greediness will often leave you short, and teamwork has its own rewards.